alleged this after three police officers are shot and killed over the weekend in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tonight, chilling surveillance of the shooter that ambushed law enforcement. WJZ's live of a Durbanette with how recent police shootings are leading to immediate safety concerns and changes here in Baltimore and around the country. I'm a joy. Vic, good evening. The police commissioner made it very clear he is not taking any chances with the safety of his officers, all while we get additional details about the shooter in Baton Rouge. Disturbing new surveillance, a former Marine, Gavin Long, dressed in black, a rifle in hand. Police say his only target on Sunday was towards law enforcement. Two officers and a deputy were killed. There is no doubt whatsoever that these officers were intentionally targeted and assassinated. It was a calculated act against those who work to protect his community every single day. Three other officers were injured before SWAT members shot and killed Long. It was a hell of a shot, but it had to be made. We had to neutralize the threat right there. We could not let it go any further. Sunday shootings came just 10 days after five officers were shot and killed in Dallas. Black lives. And amidst protests after the shooting deaths of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. The shooting deaths of the officers in Baton Rouge is prompting change even here in Maryland. The police commissioner in the city of Baltimore is now requiring two officers for every single call to service. You know, basically it's having a, an extra set of eyes there for you. Um, it's like having a partner who can watch everything else while you deal, for the call, deal with the call for service. Other departments across the country, including in Baltimore County, Chicago, and New York, have implemented similar protocol in an effort to protect their officers. No justice! And despite the rising tensions, law enforcement officials say they will continue to serve. All our officers still suited up this morning and came into work. They're saying they're still here to serve the city. They're still here to keep the city safe. The police commissioner says this buddy system of two officers responding to every call will go on until further notice. Reporting live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. Eight members of law enforcement have been killed in Dallas and Baton Rouge in the last 10 days.